I'm trying to show them your tooth. Ow! Marcus got us a freaking Oculus. Wow, that is the cutest mannequin I've ever seen. Who are these boxes for, Maxton? Why hello there. Long time no talk. Actually, not really. It's only been like two weeks. But the reason we didn't post last week is because I was really freaking sick. I went back to the doctor and my throat started swelling up again. So I had to get more blood work done. I've been to two doctors in the past month. And the first doctor I went to, we did blood work. And she was convinced that it was my thyroid acting up. Anyways, I went back to the doctor last week and got more blood work done and tested positive for mono, which makes sense because I've been sick for like a straight one month on and off, like with this coughing and everything and my throat's been like swelling up. No medicine, not anything. Like I've literally went through our medicine cabinet and nothing has been helping me. When my throat swelled again last week, I was like, okay, I gotta take it easy. I need to start taking vitamins. I need to take better care of myself, especially when my results came back that I had mono. And I'm pretty sure Maxon has mono too because he's still has that cough. He's been sick constantly. So I think that he has mono as well. But since I'm getting my energy back we are going to do some christmas decor today decoration <laughs> I, don't even know. I think i lost some of my brain with this mono first on the agenda is we're going to put up the christmas tree the house is a mess i haven't done anything i've literally just been resting taking care of the kids and resting that is genuinely it and then laundry and dishes but that's something you always have to do if you're a stay-at-home mom yeah let's get to a pitter patter let's get at her you gonna help mommy put up the christmas tree <laughs> Are you going to help mommy put up the Christmas tree? Mr. Romy here has a tooth. I don't think he'll let me show it. Maybe you'll see. I'm trying to show them your tooth. This is like impossible. He puts his tongue out. See it? Do you see it? Ow! There's his tooth. We got to pull Romy butt out of the way. But right here. This is where I think I'm gonna put the Christmas tree this year. I usually like put it in front of the window, but I gotta figure out a solution. So when little ramen noodle is in his walker, he can't grab the Christmas tree, so. And also, I just wanna throw a quick shout out to my mom for sending me this care package while I'm sick. I mean, it seriously made me cry because I thought it was the sweetest freaking thing. I'll show you all what came in it. A cute blanket, which is over there, and it says, I wish I could take your pain and give it to someone we both really hate. So sweet. Get well soon. And it comes with like a cute little eye mask that I will definitely use. And then this, I, I will absolutely use this. It's like the hair pony thingy that holds your hair back, whatever, when you're washing your face. And then a cute little soy wax aromatherapy candle. And then it came with a bracelet, but it's upstairs. And then I got bath bombs, which are in here. Here's one of them, but it came with two of them. Pink one too. Some soap. But yeah, I thought this was so freaking sweet. And thank you, mom. I love you so much. I genuinely love my Christmas tree, but my problem with it is that it freaking sheds so bad. And it's like all over me as well. Like it, it snowed in this house, but it's so cute. What do you think of it, Roman? <laughs> What do you think, Romy? I love you, bub. <laughs> you snapped in your face on that thing. You're so cute. Alrighty, the tree is officially up. Yeah, I know. Crazy, ain't it? So, I was going to record in Walmart because we're getting stuff for Operation Christmas Child like we do every year. And it was just so packed in there. It was, it was stupid to record one at Marcus. But Marcus got us a freaking Oculus. The oh, you one, not me. They changed the, you it. Yeah, they changed the name of it. It's um, Met MetaQuest. MetaQuest Two. MetaQuest Two. But we will show you all of the stuff we got for Operation Christmas Child, like we do every year when we get home, won't we? Mm -hmm. And we got, of course, our D and D. Maxon's back there <coughs> with a strawberry drink and. I got you, Maxon. Playing a tablet, the usual. And Roman, he's just chilling in there. He's a little cranky though. Mm -hmm. But we'll catch up to y'all soon. Gotta clean that child's face. We just ate Taco Bell. Well, what you ate, but it was all we are about to go in Old Navy. Ain't that right, Mr. No Shoes, No Socks, No Worries? So what are you getting? 
pants. Pants. I thought you didn't like the dark ones. No, I did. That was a different color to her. Oh, and we're getting these as a Christmas yeah, gift. Yeah. Just pajamas. Yeah. And they're super cute and soft. They were playing Christmas music and Roman was like kicking his feet and he's like the cutest thing ever. And Maxon just keeps yeah, adding in every clothes yeah, rack yeah, possible. Yeah. Pretend to be a mannequin. Go. You're a mannequin. You gotta act like a mannequin. Like one of them. Why are you hiding behind the other mannequin? You gotta step out a little bit. <laughs> there you go. Wow, that is the cutest mannequin I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, his eyes move. At least this one has a head. These don't. Oh my gosh, the legs move too. It's like a robot mannequin, ain't it? You're too cute. Hey Max, then do your best dance move. Go. He's the door entertainment at Old Navy. Do you get paid to dance for people? Oh, now he's being the door greeter. So we are running into Walmart real fast. Marcus and Roman are staying in the car, but we need to get formula and rags for the children box thing. Right? Yep. And we got pee. So we're on a mission to get a few things. And then what? Then we're going home? No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we have a task, but he thinks he's going to the toys. Max and this is the owl right here. We need to get rags. Oh, look at all the character dolls. So cool. You want them? Yeah. Alright, the Oregon things. I wanted the vibrant <coughs> colors down there. They look cool. But these are the ones we're getting. So this is everything we got today shopping. Yep, and a step. Yeah, this is all the stuff for the Operation Christmas Child, the toys that we're putting in them. We got a bunch of towels. These are not for the Christmas Child box. Um, we got Max in this really cool Spider-Man sweater. Well, I guess it's not a sweater. What is this? A crew neck sweatshirt. But look, this year we were lucky enough to get the plastic ones. These are like, this is hot cotton right here. I think these are way bigger than the, the shoe box ones. Don't you think so? We're going to go ahead and stock these up, aren't we, Max? Well, duh. Max, then this is for kids that don't get toys at Christmas, okay? I think that's one of the best things is that we have Max and pick out the toys each year. I need you to pick two of each, two toys, and put in this box and two toys and put in that box. Which one do you want? I like this. You want those to go together? Yeah. Okay. Okay, like this, like this. okay put it in. <laughs> All right, we gotta put the crayons in here. Good job. Here, put that pencil sharpener in this one. Pencil sharpener in each of them. No, Max, then listen. Pencils. Here, put one in here, one in here. Two things of crowns. No, I got a crown in one. You do? Yep, put one of those in here, buddy. All right, we're gonna pack them all. And then notebooks, and then two brushes with little cap thingies, some so, body soap. Uh, and these are the rags Max picked out. Here we go, put rags Look at in. Look at All right, explain your boxes to me. Who are these boxes for, Max, then? I don't know. For what age? A four-year-old boy? I think so. Two four-year-old boys. Is that the age group? I think, yeah. And then I'm doing four-year-old girls. We got the little ponies this year. They're so cute. Well, I guess Mommy, unicorns. Oh, baby. Oh, thank you. I couldn't find the other hairbrushes like I got last year. There's a bunch of hair combs in here, different types of hair combs. This is the best freaking soap if you have like super dry skin. You don't even need lotion afterwards. Like this stuff is amazing. And then these cute little teddy bears. Who makes these every year? Um, there's this woman. At the church. Yeah, there's some woman at our church and every year she makes a bunch of these. And we put them in the boxes. Now you would think these people never saw a deer before. Y'all sticking your head out that window, aren't you? We're looking for bucks. Yeah, I saw you. Yep, you gonna go out there, you got your bow. It's bow season, Marcus. You go out there and shoot them. All right, let's open this Oculus. You, you ready? Open it. Right. Cheers. All right. So the the lovely unboxing of the Oculus. Well, actually, no, MetaQuest. I forgot they changed their name. All right, Max. <coughs> um, here you stand up. I'm gonna lay it down. Max, you were in the way, Bob. In the way. You're in the way, bro. 
You and Elfie. You know, once it's December 1st, you can't touch Elfie anymore because Elfie gets his, what? Powers. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I was not sure how that opened. So it comes in this really cool box. <laughs> you know, I thought it was going to be more like unloading it, but I guess it's like kind of already there. These are the controllers. And now we're going to set it up. So Marcus is currently fishing right now on VR. And Roman thinks it's hilarious. Does daddy look dumb? Hey, Romy. Does, <laughs> does daddy look dumb? Even the dog's confused right now. How do I get to my <laughs> So Marcus, do you like playing the Meta Quest? It's all right. Now I'm waiting for him to get on Call of Duty playing this thing. Would you play Call of Duty like this? Maybe. And you have officially reached the end of this video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all are having an amazing, blessed freaking day. And, yeah, so I love you all. God bless. Bye. Don't want to sleep in, because I got something.